This is a quick video for a usage example of the Chautauqua Custom Works chassis PCB set. This can be used for many different Sabre setups, however today's video is specifically for the Phoenix Props Sentinel Hilt. This hilt is one of my top favorites in my collection, and I used the Goth chassis when I did the install. However, what I really did not like is one, this chassis cannot be removed once the install is completed. And two, the chassis is designed for a non-removable battery. The reason the chassis cannot be removed is due to the switch PCB in which buttons one, button two, and the ground wires are hardwired to. In order to remove the chassis, these connections would have to be desoldered. In the past, I attempted to remediate this by using longer wires from the periphery board to the switch PCB. However, there was no real way to make a mechanism for this to work, as hoped. When I saw that Chautauqua Custom Works released a 10-pin chassis PCB set, which could be used to separate a chassis into different parts, I knew this would be the remedy for me. This provided the means for a fully removable chassis for the Sentinel Hill. From there, in order to make this work, I needed to make the required modifications to the Goff chassis to hold the two Shatak PCBs. This was not difficult as the Goff chassis comes in three parts. The first is the separate speaker housing, which uses a two pogo pin design for the speaker so that the speaker itself can reside in the pommel without direct wires. The second part is the main body which houses the profi board and the battery. And the last part houses the NeoPixel PCB connector. To make the modifications, I loaded the main body, STL, and the NeoPixel STL, which I purchased from KR Sabres, into Fusion 360. And from there I made some adjustments and I added a lip to the area of each chassis where the Shatak PCBs need to reside. Once that was completed, I soldered the connections for the switch housing wires and the NeoPixel PCB wires from the Profi board to the Shatak PCB on the main body of the chassis, and then wired the adjacent wires from the secondary PCB in the smaller NeoPixel holder of the chassis to the NeoPixel PCB and the switch PCB. From there, the NeoPixel holder chassis remains in the hilt and is secured in place by two of the M3x5 button screws, which hold the switch housing in place. And the main body itself is now removable. When the main body is inserted into the hilt, the 10 pogo pins at the end of the main body PCB make the required connections to the PCB located on the smaller NeoPixel holder chassis, which powers the power and auxiliary buttons in the switch PCB, as well as power to the NeoPixel PCB. The only thing that's not included with this kit is the 3mm outer diameter brass rod used to line up the PCBs correctly. And it goes right in. I highly recommend this Chautauqua Custom Works chassis PCB set for the Sentinel, as well as many other similar applications. I have included a link in the comments to where this PCB set, as well as brass rods, can be purchased. I hope you found this video useful, and please let me know if you have any questions.